Good afternoon, guys. <clears throat> um, so, as most of you should know by now, right? I've, I've, I had a, I did a video with Justin from um, XJW Diaries, right? Several weeks back. <clears throat> um, but what you don't know, <laughs> what you don't know is that um, the morning of that interview, right? I was this this close. I was this close to almost checking out, almost canceled, almost called up Justin and said, you know, you know what, bro? I can't do this. I can't do this. Because um, I was in fellowship for two years and I just got reinstated. I haven't spoken to my family in two years. Just got reinstated. I was back in the organization for about a month, right? And I said to myself, once I do this video, this is it. There's no going back. You know, this is a one-way trip. Once I make it known out there to the world, you know, to the Jehovah's Witness community that I'm an apostate, I don't believe in this nonsense, that there's no Holy Spirit, I don't believe in a governing body. Once I say that, once I make a video and say that out loud, it's done. My, me and my family are done for good, right? Unless they happen to wake up. But yeah, I was this close, this close. That morning of the interview with Justin, I was this close to hitting him up. Yeah, bro, I can't do this. Well, so I was praying the night before I was praying, right? I was praying like crazy. I said, God, please. I said, give me a sign. I, I said, if I'm destined to make this video, please give me a sign. Let me know. Right? So me and Justin made the video. I think it was a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. It was it either Friday? It was a Friday, right? Friday night. Yeah, Friday night. That morning, I went to the gym. Right, and uh, the gym that I go to is about a good 15 20 minute walk from where I live. Right, it's not far from where I live at all. So, this is heavy on my mind, you know. Because I say to myself, later this evening, I'm supposed to make this video, and this is it. Once I once that video is out there, it's done. I'm done. Me and my family are done. Right, so I remember the night before, I was praying like crazy. I'm walking now. I'm walking to the gym. This is Friday morning, right? I'm minding my business, and at this point, I'm like ten minutes away from the gym. This guy, he comes up. We're, we're both walking the same direction. We, we, uh, he comes up to me, and he noticed my 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 bracelet, my uh, yeah, the bracelet says um nothing is impossible, right? He noticed that. So he said, oh, I like that bracelet. He said, oh, he said, nothing is impossible. That's that's real, you know, positive energy right there. And then he asked me, he said, do you believe in God? And he says, how can you not believe in God, you know? And I said, how, how, can, I, how can I not believe in God? Look where, we, look where we live. Look where I live. This is Hawaii, right? This is beautiful. We got mountains, beautiful scenery. The weather is perfect, right? So next thing you know, me and him start talking. Mind you, I never met this guy before in my life, right? I don't know him from a hole in the wall. We just happen to be walking the same direction, right? So we're walking and talking. And he says, oh, I'm heading to the gym. I said, stop. I said, I'm heading to the gym too. We're heading to the same gym, right? We're about a good 10, minute, 10, minute, 10 minutes away walking distance, right? And we were just talking about God. He's a, you know, he's a, I believe he's a Christian. We were just talking about God. And I told him, I said, yeah, I, I was born and raised at JW, Jehovah's Witness, but... I, you know, I'm in the process of leaving the organization, right? And he goes, oh, he said, good, that's a good idea. That's a really good idea that you're leaving because he says, he, he says his neighbor's back home. He's from Washington, right? Um, somewhere in Washington. So he says, he said his neighbors in Washington, he was in Hawaii for vacation, <laughs> but he says his neighbors in Washington, right? They were Jehovah's Witnesses. He says once they left the religion, they felt so much better. The life was so much better. So he says, if you're leaving the Jehovah's Witnesses, good for you. Good for you. You know, me and him were just talking about Jesus. And I said to him, I said, listen, I said, I know you don't know me from a hole in the wall. You don't know me at all, right? But I said, I needed to meet you. I needed to meet you because you just answered my prayer. And I said to him, I said, later on today, I'm doing an interview with someone, right? We're going to discuss the Jehovah's Witnesses and, um, you know, how it's, a, how it's an unloving organization, how it's, you know, not direct, not, not directed by God at all. There's no Holy Spirit in it, right? So I said, I, I said to him, I was praying last night, 
because I was skeptical about making this video. I was skeptical. I was having doubts, right? So I said, I said, I find out a big coincidence how I always go to the gym. I've been in Hawaii for almost two years, right? I've been here for almost two years now. This is that encounter. I've never had that experience with somebody where I'm minding my business, going to the gym, right? And someone just, we would just happen to, we happen to stop and have a random conversation. That never happens to me. What are the odds of that, that happening to me the very morning of me making the interview with me, me having an interview with, um, with Justin, right? What are the odds of that happening? So me and this guy get to the gym now. We're still talking, right? We get to the gym. We exchange numbers. He go, oh, if you're ever in, in Washington, let me know. Let me know, right? And he was just like, he prayed for me. Oh, I, I forgot to tell you this. Before we entered the gym, this guy, this stranger from a hole in the wall, we talking about God. You know, I'm, uh, I'm talking about my 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 past life as a witness, right? My upbringing as a witness. He's talking about Jesus, whatever, and he happens to pray for me. One of the nicest guys I've met in a long time. Complete stranger, prays for me, right? He took the time to pray for me, and let and, and to remind me that I'm not alone, to to let me know that I'm. Oh boy, I'm getting choked up. <laughs> but to, to let me know that I'm, you know, I'm not alone, and that even though he just met me, that he's 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 there for me. He took down my number. I took down his number. <sighs> Like, if that's not a sign from God, right? And then, and then uh, a bit later on, now we're at the gym, we're working, you know, we go separate, separate ways at the gym. Then we meet again. We happen to meet again at the gym, right? And I have to remind him once again. And I, have to, I, said, I said, listen, thank you once again. I know you don't know me at all, but I said to him, I'm making a video later on. And I, I said, I needed to meet you. Because I, I needed to know that this, that me making this video was the, it's the right decision. I got to make sure that I'm doing the right thing by making this video, right? So I said to him, just by you talking to me, this is, I feel like this is God telling me that, listen, there's a lot of good hearted people out there in this world. You're not, you're going to lose your family. I feel like God was telling me, you, you're about to lose your family. When you make this video, you're going to, you, you're going to lose your Jehovah's Witness family and friends. But this is a reminder that there's loving people out there there's people out there that's going to love you unconditionally there's people out there that's going to show you what true love is you know and i needed to meet that guy that happened for a reason like i said god works in mysterious ways right so when i said that to him right when i told this guy mind you we at the gym we're both working out pumping iron you know lifting weights and he says, stop, you're about to make me cry, right? He gets all choked up. He starts tearing. I almost started tearing myself, right? And he said, he said, he had to walk. He said, listen, I got to walk away or else I'm, just, I'm about to break down in tears, right? But um, what are the odds of me praying the night before me and Justin made that, that video when, we had to, when he interviewed me, when he interviewed me, right? Then what are the odds the night before I'm praying like crazy, asking God, Please give me a sign, please. I want to make sure that I'm doing the right thing, right? Then the very next morning, less than 12 hours later, I happen to bump into this guy. We're both going to the gym, right? Now, if I left my house five minutes later, or if he left the hotel where he was staying 20 minutes later, or even two minutes later, me and him would never met. The timing was perfect. We started a conversation, talked about God, right? He gave me what I needed spiritually so I could, I guess you could say, re rejuvenate myself spiritually, right? Because I was lost. I'm not going to lie. I was, I was this close. I was this close to hitting Justin up and saying, bro, I can't do this. I'm about to lose my family if I make this video. I can't show my face. I can't do it. But I, I'm so happy everything happened for a reason. I'm happy that I, I bumped into that random stranger. I'm happy I bumped into him. God gives us what we need at the right time. He gives us what we need at the right time. He works in mysterious ways. And even though I'm shunned by my family, right? 
I have that, um, that constant reminder that there is a lot of good-hearted people out there, a lot of good-hearted people out there. And you know, I'm blessed that I, you know, have the, now I have the XJW community. Right? I have my friends, thank God, from when I was inactive. Um, but yeah, I just want to ex share that experience with you, with you guys and just let you know that God, he does work in mysterious ways. So we, we lost, our, a lot of us lost family and friends, but we are not alone. Just keep that in mind. We're not alone. Whatever we thought we lost, trust me when I tell you, God is going to replace that and give you something a hundred times better. All right. All right, guys. I love you. I'll see you on the next video.